Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we looked at how trade flows are measured through something which is known as the current account. In today's lesson we're going to continue our free forex trading course with a look at how capital flows are measured through something which is known as the capital account. So let's get started. The basic formula for calculating the capital account is increase in foreign ownership of domestic assets, things such as real estate, cross-border M&A, and investments by foreign companies in local operations, minus increase in domestic ownership of foreign assets, plus portfolio investments, things such as stocks and bonds, plus other investment, things such as uh, loans and bank accounts. As with the current account, it is for our purposes not important to understand all the intricate details of the capital account, but simply that where the current account measures money flowing into and out of a country as a result of trade flows, the capital account measures money flowing into and out of a country as a result of capital flows. As we discussed in our lesson on capital flows, when a market in a country is outperforming the markets in other areas of the world, money will flow into the country from foreigners seeking to participate in those outsized returns. These capital flows are reflected in the, current, in the country's capital account. This is the case whether we are talking about a country's stock market, bond market, real estate market, etc. As a quick example, let's say that a mutual fund located in the United States invests $1 million in the Canadian stock market and a Canadian real estate firm buys the equivalent amount of real estate in the United States. Just for simplicity's sake, if these were the only transactions that took place between those two countries and any other country, the capital account for both the United States and Canada would show a balance of zero as these two transactions would have exactly offset themselves. As with the current account, when a country sees strong inflows or outflows of capital, this has a direct effect on its currency. When there are significant inflows, this creates demand for the currency, pushing the value of the currency up, all else being equal. Conversely, when there are significant outflows, this creates a market supply of the currency, pushing its value down, all else being equal. As you may be able to tell by now, it is the intersection of both the current account or the interaction of both the current account and the capital account that fundamental traders focus on, as it is the imbalances here that theoretically cause the value of a currency to rise and fall over the long term. This will be the topic of our next lesson, so we hope to see you then. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.